what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and uh, today i have a question from magnetic effects of current and let's quickly go through the question and try to solve it so there is a loop made by joining the ends of a flexible inextensible light conducting wire of length 2l so there is a wire which is folded in these two rings uh, total length is 2l so one part of it is l the loop passes through mm -hmm, okay small rubber block uh, okay i have said that one below the ceiling a horizontal magnetic field of induction b is established okay so there is a horizontal magnetic field b okay uh, now a, a gradually increasing current is made to circulate in the loop so there will be a current which will be flowing through the loop and it will gradually increase for all values of current in the loop forces of magnetic interaction between the different parts of the wire are negligible so there will be no mutual uh, attraction or repulsion between the wires the forces that will act on the wire will only be due to this magnetic field what shape will the wire loop assume for a particular value of current in the loop okay that's easy so so basically the more you increase the current these wires will experience more forces but the forces will be in opposite direction so if this one was one ring and the wire was looking like this so if one current is in this direction uh, in the other part of the wire it will be in the opposite direction magnetic field was <coughs> pointing out from the screen and uh, the force due to the current will be okay let me just uh, reverse the direction otherwise the forces will make the wire look stupid okay so if one current is here another one is here then this part of the wire the right part of the wire will experience a force towards this direction and this part will experience a force towards left slow so at any instant for any current the wires would look something like this so each wire will make a shape of a circular arc okay so this will how the uh, shape will be circular arc for each wire this is pretty simple because the forces are acting perpendicular to the shape of the wire always okay and this is only possible if the wire forms a circular arc kind of shape okay so the second one is find the maximum height up to which the block can be lifted that is also easy so initially the wire looked like this there is a mass m now after the current after the flow of the current the each half of the wire tries to acquire a circular shape so at most in the in the maximum or in the best case scenario the shape would look something like this it will try to make a complete circular loop okay try to make a complete circular loop and after that it will not change its shape because if it changes its shape furthermore i mean it is not possible because this is the best possible case here because the forces acting on the wire that is the magnetic field acting on the wire will get balanced by the tensile force inside the wire okay so it cannot just collapse it like this collapse the wire like this okay so this is mass m m here so the maximum height that the mass can go will be this one let that let that be d and let the new radius be r <coughs> okay so d is this one was l 
So, d is L minus 2 r and we can find out r like this. So, r is equal to L by pi. So, rise and height will be L times 1 minus 2 divided by pi. So, this is the maximum height that the mass can go ok. After that it will want to go because the force due to magnetic field is balanced by the tensile force of the wire ok. The last part. So, the last part is we need to find out the current in the loop to lift the block by height of ok. So, height is L into 1 minus 3 divided by pi <coughs> ok. Hmm. Now, this one can be done something like this means this is less than the maximum height. So, the wires would not form complete circular shape it would look something like this. So, I am drawing only the right half of the wire. Let this point be the center ok. This point be the center this whole thing be angle theta ok. So, L this whole length is L let the radius be r. So, L equals to r times theta height is so, the new height is L minus r sin theta by 2 plus r sin theta by 2 that is 2 r sin theta by 2 ok. So, L minus 2 L by theta sin theta by 2 that gives you L minus L into 1 minus 2 by theta sin theta by 2. Okay. Now, if we compare this with the data given in the question that is comparing these two parts we get 3 divided by pi equals to 2 by theta sin theta by 2. Okay. So, that is sin theta by 2 divided by theta by 2 will be equals to 3 by pi. Now, if you compare this one this whole thing you will get that theta is equal to pi by 3 ok. Just put the value of pi by 3 we will get that the left hand side and the right hand side both are equal ok. Now, as we know that the mass will be in equilibrium and the condition of the wires at that time would look something like this. Here will be the tension T, here will be tension T ok. This one will be theta by 2. So, 2 t cos theta by 2 is equal to m g because m g is being balanced by the tensions here. So, 2 t into cos pi by 6 is equal to m g. So, tension is m g by root 3 ok. So, tension acting on the inside the wires is equal to m g by root 3 ok. Now, we just need to find out the current that is needed so that the tension becomes this one. So, for that we take a small part of the wire let us take a small part of the wire ok. Let this be angle d theta tension is here tension is here. So, this is d theta by 2, this is also d theta by 2, this is also d theta by 2 and force on this wire due to the magnetic field is acting along this direction that is I b r d theta ok, I b times the length of this portion. So, 2 t sin d theta divided by 2 is equal to I b r d theta as d theta is very small. So, sin d theta by 2 can be written as only d theta by 2 r d theta d theta gets cancelled out 2 gets cancelled out we know t equals to m g by root 3 equals to I b and uh, we know 
that r is equal to l divided by theta ok. So, l divided by theta and theta is pi by 3 ok. So, the current required is pi m g divided by 3 root 3 b l. So, this will be your answer. Please go through the video once again if you missed anything. I hope you all find this video helpful and informative. Thank you.